The least common multiple of a and b is the smallest whole number that's a multiple of both a and b. Or another way to think about this is the least common multiple is the smallest integer which a divides evenly and which b divides evenly. You write this as LCM of a and b. Let's see an example. Let's find the least common multiple of 6 and 8. The idea is to list the multiples of 6, then list the multiples of 8, and find the smallest number that's a multiple of both of them. That will be the least common multiple. Let's start by listing the multiples of 6. They are 6 times 1, 6 times 2, 6 times 3, 6 times 4, 6 times 5, 6 times 6, and so on. Let's evaluate these. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 5 is 30. And 6 times 6 is 36. Next, let's list the multiples of 8. Those are 8 times 1, 8 times 2, 8 times 3, 8 times 4, 8 times 5, 8 times 6, and so on. Now we evaluate these. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 5 is 40, and 8 times 6 is 48. Now we just look and see what's the smallest number that's in both lists, the smallest multiple of both of these. And we can quickly see that it's 24. So the least common multiple of 6 and 8 is 24. One of the most common applications of the least common multiple is when you're adding fractions. If you recall, to add two fractions, you must first get a common denominator, and it turns out that common denominator is the least common multiple of the denominators. We'll see examples of that in other videos. Let's do another example. For this example, let's find the least common multiple of 3, 4, and 6. This shows that we can find the least common multiple of more than two integers. It doesn't have to be two integers. It could be three integers, five, twenty, whatever. So the strategy is the same, though, as when we found the least common multiple of two numbers. What we're going to do is we're going to list the multiples of each of the numbers and find the smallest integer that's in all of the lists. So let's start by listing the multiples of 3. The first several multiples are 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, 3 times 4, 3 times 5, 3 times 6, and so on. It goes on forever. If you evaluate these, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15, and 3 times 6 is 18. Now let's write the multiples of 4. They are 4 times 1, 4 times 2, 4 times 3, 4 times 4, 4 times 5, and 4 times 6, and so on. Evaluating, we get 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and 24. And lastly, let's write out the multiples, the first few multiples of 6. They are 6 times 1, 6 times 2, 6 times 3, 6 times 4, 6 times 5, 6 times 6, and so on. Evaluating, we get 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and 36. Now we just have to find the smallest number that's a multiple of all of them, the smallest number that's in each of the three lists. And by inspection, we see that the least common multiple of 3, 4, and 6 is 12. Now this method for finding the least common multiple of integers is fine when you're working with small integers. And even then, with these small integers, with these examples, it took a little bit of work to find the least common multiple. And you may be asking yourself, is there a faster way to do this? Is, this, is there a professional way to calculate the, the LCM? And it turns out there are several additional ways to do this. We'll see examples of these later on. But a really fast way to compute the LCM is to use this equation. 
and that is the GCD of A and B times the LCM of A and B is the product of A and B. So the greatest common divisor times the least common multiple is the product of the two numbers. And the reason this is so helpful is there are very fast algorithms for computing the GCD of two numbers. So if you can quickly compute the GCD, you can just plug the numbers in and calculate what the LCM is. And again, we'll see examples of this in other videos, as well as actually proving that this equation is true. It's important to understand why this equation is true.